Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Hello there, Hello. mister. Hello. Give me a Okay, people, let's get started tonight. Just let me pull up the attendance here. Give me a second. I'm sending a message to to a student.
Okay, please respond, turn on your cameras and respond when you hear your name. Ada Veronica Muñoz. Yeah, she's the one writing. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Alicia. Present teacher. Okay. Andrea Isabel Siu. Andrea. Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me. I'm here. Okay. Cecilia Antonio Cortez. Present teacher. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez. Good evening, present teacher. Okay. Diana Patricia Orantes. Present. Okay. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. Good evening again. Good evening. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo. Present. Okay. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Present. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo. Merisa Abigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. Eh, Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Noé Ezequiel Gar eh, Rivera Medrano. Present teacher. Norma Lisette Crespin Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Okay. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Hey there. Hello. Silvia Esther Rivera Calderón. Good evening. I'm here. Good evening. Okay, a quick review. Ada Verónica, Andrea Isabel. Andrea Isabel. Luis Alfredo. Present teacher, I am here. Okay. Present. Okay. Miguel Antonio y Nelson Eduardo. Okay. Okay, there are some messages here. Jennifer and Oh, Jennifer, I'm sorry. 
Okay, people, let's get started. Just remember, cameras are very important, okay? Okay, let's continue here. Okay, we're going to, to read this article called Dreams Can Come True. Dreams Can Come True. Okay, I'm going to record the audio here for you for this reading. Reading. Dreams can come true. Do you know anyone who made a big change in his or her lifestyle? At the age of 40, Tom Block was the head of H&R Block, a huge company that helps people prepare their tax form. He was very successful. Although Block earned a lot of money, he wasn't very happy. He spent too much time at work and didn't have enough time to spend with his family. Suddenly, he left H&R Block and became a teacher in a poor neighborhood. I wanted to help people who didn't have the opportunities I had, Block explained. Learning to control the students was hard at first, but the rewards, helping children and hearing students say he's their favorite teacher, are great and Block is able to spend more time with his family. The Neal Family. For 11 years, Tom Neal worked as a lawyer and his wife, Mel, worked as a teacher. They saved every penny they could. Finally, they had enough money to buy a boat. That was 17 years ago, and except for occasional stops, they have been at sea ever since. For the Neils and their two daughters, the difficulties of their lifestyle are very real. There's not much money, so meals are often rice and beans and fish. Storms are dangerous especially when the boat is far from land. But Tom Neal says overcoming dangers together as a family is one of the rewards of their way of life. Another, he says, is seeing the starfish on the bottom of the sea in the moonlight. Okay. Just let me write here. Reading. Now, let's work on this activity here. Um, it says, read the article. Well, we already read the article. What do these people do now? What is one difficulty with their new lifestyle? What is one reward? Complete the chart. We have these two people. Tom Block, is this, this is the story, Tom Block. And uh, 
the Neil, the family Neil. Okay? So you have to complete the chart with this information. What they do now? What is one difficulty they face every day or one difficulty in their new lifestyle? And what is one reward in their new lifestyle? Okay. So I will give you time to complete this information. Let me send the, the text. There are also more questions here about the reading. So I will send a copy of the article to WhatsApp. Let me see. And the activities. Okay, let's take a look to the activity, the, the second activity. The second activity says, uh, group, well, talk about this question. Second activity is to have a conversation, okay? Who do you think made the more difficult change in lifestyle? Tom Block? or the Niels. Explain your answer. Number two. Uh, who, would you like to be one of the Niels children? Why or why not? What are some reasons people, those in the article and others, change their lifestyle? And number four, would you like to change your lifestyle? If so, how? Okay. Very good. I will send you to working group to, they say two heads think better than one. I don't know if there is an equivalent in English. Okay, please try to join the small groups if you can to work together. Okay, you have the invitation. I will give you 15 minutes to complete that activity. Okay, join the breaker rooms, please. Room one, split. Room two, okay, there are two people there. 
Only Oscar Alexander is missing. Okay, Oscar is there now. Room three. Well, Jennifer is not able. Nelson, I don't know. Okay, I think I will send Olivia to another room. Olivia to room four. And oh, Claudia is alone. Okay, Claudia to room six. Oh. Go to room two, go to room three, Well, I will send you to a small group.
matemáticas. Eso estudié. Sí, entonces por eso. Entonces por eso fue que yo respondí así, pero ahora sí ya estoy. Ya entendí qué es lo que se tiene que hacer. Beautiful Spanish. Congratulations. Hey, hey, teacher. <laughs> Come on, guys. Practice your English. Your Spanish is perfect. Okay, teacher. <laughs> yes. It's only one hour you have to practice English. Okay. See you. Hi. Ganado. Exactly. De lo que ha mencionado prácticamente, va. Mm -hmm. o, o hay que crear imaginativamente los planes que él tiene. No, hay que proponer. Eh, ¿Cómo podemos o cómo se puede cambiar la, el estilo de vida de él. Hello, teacher, people. Listen, teacher, I'm Hello, sorry, teacher. but eh, the guys eh, no not is full here and uh, actually I ex explain eh, him and the La mayoría es todo de oyente. Oh, really? My yeah. God. But no, no problem. Eh, okay. We... But Luis, I... Luis is... Yes, sí. Uh, I, I, am driving. I am driving in this moment. Oh. Uh, to San Salvador. To Cojutepeque. And, but uh, my wife is driving and I am listening in the class. But ah, I, okay, okay. See, yes. uh, and, we, and the cell is very small, the letter, I don't understand. Uh, it's the difficulty yeah. for but, reading text. But okay. I, am, I am speaking with my partner about the, the question, uh -huh. uh, about the, the, the text of the topic. Yeah, okay. The, the activities are about the reading, okay? Yes, yes. Uh, in Spanish, but uh, <laughs> it's the difficulty for for me, but... Okay, I got it. I got it, I got it. Okay, teacher. Um, what about Oscar and Mary? They're not available. Okay. It's here, I'm here, teacher. It's raining a lot in my house. Oh. And Mary's? I... Mm. I don't see, teacher, como podría decirlo. Um, se me va, se me va. Uh -huh. Va, uh, o sea, en base a lo de la lectura, uh -huh. eh, ¿cómo podría yo proponerle soluciones a él, verdad? No. No. No, you only are going to respond in, with the, the information from the text. Mm. The information is in the text. You don't have to invent anything. Okay. Only maybe the second part, the questions are just to, to, to discuss. Mm -hmm. The idea is to practice together, have a discussion, speaking. Yeah. That's yeah. The idea. So try to do it, please, to practice. 
Yes, and thank you, teacher. Okay. I will send someone else. Okay, so, so the answer of the... My time. The first, I think, but is that. What do you think, my friend? And the second is, would you like to be one of the nailists? Would you like? Te gustaría to be oh, one of the nailists? Ser el primero. Nailist children. Mm. Yeah. Nailist children. Would you like to be one of the Nile children? Why or why or, or why or why not? Would you like to gustaría ser one of the Nailis? I don't know what is Nailis. Let me Do see. You know? Let me see. Nail children. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Juan, um, uh, 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 we lose it. <laughs> we lose. Yeah. Uh, leaving a boat. Uh, the next one is the difficulty. Uh, the thumb block is to control the students. Mm -hmm. Learning to the control the students. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the meals is, I think that the, the most difficult, I think the most difficult is the storms. In the sea, I put that uh, they don't have enough money, so the meals are most of the times beans and rice, yes. and also the storms. The storms, okay.
Okay, people, welcome back. Let me go here. Okay, tell me about Tom Block, what they do now. He's a teacher. He's a teacher. In a poor neighborhood, I think. Okay, yes. He's a teacher. Okay. What is a difficulty they uh with their new lifestyle? What is a difficulty? Learning to control the students. It is what? Learning to control the students. Control the students. Control the students. That is a difficulty, okay? And what is a reward? What is a reward with his work? I've been charging. Huh? Helping children. Ah, okay. Being the favorite teacher. <laughs> and spending more time with his family. Okay. Okay. What about the Neils? What do they do now? Tom Neil worked as a leader in the in his wife Mel working as a teacher. No, the question is what they do now. They used to work on that. But now? They live in a boat. Ah. They live in a sea. They live in a boat. Difficulty? Difficulty. Not enough money. Not enough money. Reward? PM in the starfish on the bottom. Okay. Of the sea in the moonlight. In the starfish in the moonlight. Okay, very good. Who do you think made the more difficult change? Tom Block or the Neil? Who made the Neil, right? Yeah. Ooh. Moving. To live in a boat? Oh, that's crazy. Um, they en endured is the correct pronunciation. Endured. Endured. I don't know who say that, but I I wanna try to say that they pass a very dangerous storm in the sea. Ah, okay, yeah, uh huh. Okay, would you like to be one of the Neil's children? No. <laughs> no, me neither. No. 
Oke. Okay. <laughs> okay. Would you like to change your lifestyle? Would you like to change your lifestyle? Now in that sense, it's too radical. Yeah, but don't think about them. But some things, um, maybe yes. What would you like to change? What is the most radical thing you would like to do? The extreme. Mm -hmm. Go into another uh, country. Okay. There's a really radical change, like moving to Canada. Yeah. Okay. Good. I I in 2014 I spent 10 15 days. I went to a, to Canada for 15 days. And I was missing the beans, tortilla, pupusa. <laughs> okay. What about you, Claudia? Would you like to change your lifestyle? Maybe be more active. I'm a lazy person. <laughs> Very lazy. Okay. And I think I can be healthier. Okay. Just that. Just that. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What about Eugene? Would you like to change your lifestyle? Um, it's very difficult because in my lifestyle, I I can I can help. The people in your lifestyle, in their li lifetime. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. Ah, but the question no. is, you, would you like to change your lifestyle? Yes, it's very difficult. Uh, okay. What would you like to do? How would you like to change your lifestyle? Hmm. I don't know what... What what say? <laughs> it's very difficult. Mm. Your lifestyle is difficult. No, 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 no. My lifestyle is very, very interesting and happier. Uh -huh. Um what I change, nothing. Okay. So you would you wouldn't change anything? Anything exactly <laughs> okay? Let's see. What about you, Diana? Would you like to change your lifestyle? No, in this moment, it's it's very good, but I think that in the past, in the past, I I need change. In the past, oh, in the past. I don't I don't remember how say me hubiera gustado. Ah, uh, I would have liked. I would have liked because <laughs> I have two surgery because I don't I don't eat healthy. Oh really? Anymore. Yes. I didn't eat. Uh, what? Oh, I didn't I didn't used to eat healthy. Yes, yes. That's correct. Okay. Now I have to <laughs> surgery near it to is, my stomach. It is yes. difficult to eat healthy here in El Salvador. I mean, yeah. I try. That's true. But it's difficult. Oh my not, god! Not to eat. Not to eat. Tamales. Tamales. Yes. Tamales. Taquitos. Mm, Papa, delicious. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Bean, <laughs> rice. <Pan> dulce. <laughs> Cafecito. <laughs> It is difficult. For, for the pupusas, I don't have vesicula and appendice. Really? Wow. Yes. <laughs> I have the mark here near to my stomach. Here and here. You. Hey, 
Uh, girls, I, I, I hear you and I, I, I want to say it. You can eat Go everything. Ahead. Everything that you want. Ah, you come on. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't want. say it. But don't <laughs> exist. Yes. Do you need do more exercise? That's this the is problem. The... I don't I'm... do exercise. You... Going... Exercise, uh, the, the person is a little bit. I'm going to mute you. Yeah, we can do it. Uh -huh. Yes. Come on. I agree. No, I agree. I agree. Okay. And you can eat everything, everything that you want. Okay. <laughs> the Tomorrow. Only you need is more exercise. Exercise every day. Tomorrow after class, a video, a class with Eugene. Exercise, yes. a video. <laughs> a virtual, one class. A virtual one class. class. Okay. Only one class. Okay, people, let's continue. Let's see what else do we have here. We're going to start with the new lesson, the new here. Imagine we are talking about changing lifestyle, eating healthier, and look at the topic here. Now, this is not from God. <sighs> Your favorite ethnic dishes. In Brazil, a traditional food is feijoada. A traditional dish made of black beans, garlic spices, and pork. Sounds good. In Thailand, meat crop. Crispy fried noodles with shrimp and chicken. In China, chicken soup with pork filled dumplings. Hmm. In Latin America, ceviche. This is the most or uh, 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 the healthiest food here. Raw seafood marinated in lime juice and chili peppers. Okay, which one is? Have you ever tried any of these dishes, people? Have you ever tried any of these? The fish, yes. the China food. Yeah, Chinese food. Yeah. But that chicken soup with pork? Yes, the ramen, ramen. <laughs> but okay. nice China for this. I have a friend, Genius. I have a friend who went to Taiwan for three or six months. And he told me when he came back, Chinese food is not what we know as Chinese food here in El Salvador. He said, they don't eat that kind of chow mein. They don't eat that kind of rice. We don't know the real Chinese food, he said. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, Chinese food. Ceviche. Have you tried ceviche? Absolutely. Yeah, delicious. Okay. Uh, ethnic food in El Salvador? Definitely. Ooh, ooh, what other? Well, well, don't talk about food anymore. <laughs> Let's take a look to this conversation here. Let me... Read it and record it for you here. Conversation. Hey, this sounds good. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Oh, I haven't. Oh, they're delicious. I had them last time, like, to try. No, 
I'm sorry. I had them last time. Like to try some? No, thanks. They sound strange. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have the snail fleet. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brain. Fried brain? Now that really sounds strange. Wow. Well, I would like to ask you, what is the strangest food, the strangest food you have ever tried? What is the strangest food you have ever eaten? In Me? my case, uh -huh. when I... When I visit uh, Mexico, uh -huh. I, 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 I try to, to eat chapulines. Ah, grasshoppers. Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> it's really no good for me. <laughs> really? Chapulines. Grasshoppers. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? What is the strangest food you have ever tried, people? I have tried frog legs. Frog legs. I have tried buffalo, buffalo meat. I have tried, uh, what is this? Uh, Aquacin. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Taquasin is very delicious. Yeah, it's delicious actually. When it's, it is prepared well. Yeah. I have tried kusuko. Yes. Have Me you too. ever tried a carne de chucho de San Vicente? Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh huh. Come on, people. Uh -huh. Tell me. How what do you say food? Ah? Uh, huevos de toro? Bull, uh, oh, not eggs. Those are plastic. <laughs> yes, it's delicious. <laughs> really? It's delicious. I don't try hackies. It's ceviche. Really? Yes. Yeah, yeah. With ceviche. With, <laughs> I don't know. I just the idea. I don't. I wouldn't do that <laughs> there is a place I don't know I don't remember where here in El Salvador where they make a soup with the bull's penis imagine um, Oriente <laughs> no no it's not Oriente I think it's like Nejapa or Aguilar it's for la Sí, sí, es por la carretera hacia que es Altepec, que está un yeah. puesto de, como para los taileros, es cierto. They make yeah, bull penis soup. Well, if you don't tell me what it is, maybe. <laughs> but if you tell me what it is, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Mr. Brown, what about you? What is the strangest food you have ever tried? Well, I think... Mm, <laughs> uh, I know, no remember. Maybe Tiburon? 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 Oh, I shark. Never, I never eat it, Tiburon. Ah, shark. Shark. Yeah. Sure. No, but the question is, what is the most strangest food you have oh. already tried? Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but it's not strange. Uh, it's a... Um, uh, total else. Turtle eggs. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one time in the past, I 
I don't like the uh, tortoise eggs, but one uh, girlfriend uh, get me this one. Oh, uh, yeah. For I don't like reason. it for some reason. <laughs> Good, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, okay. But, but I try it and I like it too. Yeah, they are good. They are good. Yeah. So only one time. <laughs> Not too much. Okay. What about you, mm -hmm. Lenin? What is the most strangest food you have ever eaten? Um, strange is um, um, pacaya. Pacaya. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like it too much. It's too bitter. The the flavor is bitter. Yes. I, I, I stand it in, in salad, in a salad with lemon and salt. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you say, curtido? Ah, pico. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, pico. Mm -hmm. And you, Brenda, what is the strangest food you have ever tried? Can you hear me, Teach? Yes. I eat a snake soup, teacher. Oh, yeah. When I when I was child, my grandma is a uh, away the, como canton. In the country, countryside. Yeah. Yes, countryside, and um, in the weekend for time in the um, December. Um, he she told me, "Can I you do it?" Yes. Y me lo dio. Pens yo pensé que era sopa de pollo. I think it's chicken soup. By by the she, way, is <laughs> she didn't she didn't tell like you. Soup. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hasta que ya no lo había comido, me dijo, este. Era sopa de serpiente. Sopa de culebra. Interesting. Okay, people. She sabía wow. pollo. <laughs> it is 9 p.m. We have to stop here. We'll continue tomorrow, okay? Oh, good night, people. Nice conversation good today. Night. Take care. Good night, okay? teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.